This is Randy Altman's Perspective. Randy Altman has been writing about our industry for more than 20 years. In fact, she runs her own website called postperspective.com. And as always, it's a delight to say, hello, Randy, welcome back. Thank you, Larry, it's good to be back. Randy, the big news this week is Sundance, which starts tomorrow. What are you hearing? Well, I'm hearing a lot of people getting on airplanes and, and heading out that way. Um, there's been like a drain, at least here from the from the East Coast, heading west. So um, they're getting out before the big snowstorm. And I'm jealous. I'm, I'm jealous of what they're going to experience. There's a lot going on there this year. And it's um, it's pretty interesting. Well, what was I reading? They had 4,107 submissions, people asking to get on for 123 slots, more than 1,700 from the U.S., more than 2,100 from international. I mean, Sundance has never had that kind of an audience before. What is it that attracts filmmakers to Sundance? Well, I think it, it comes with a certain cachet. I mean, there are a ton of film festivals that go on throughout the world, but Sundance is Sundance, and that comes with a certain respectability. And um, and what they've been really good at is sort of keeping keeping watch of the emerging trends in filmmaking and just what people are doing. So a lot of the, the folks that I've been speaking to from the post world that are heading out there are heading out for... Um, a few different reasons. One is maybe they've done some work on some film and they're out there to promote it. But a big part of what they want to do is network. They want to get out there. They want to meet filmmakers. Some of them aren't giant post houses and they're, they need to work with more independent filmmakers. So their budgets ma match up better. So that's a big deal. Um, so other people are going out because they want to tout their city or their, their state's tax incentives. They want to bring the work home. So there's a lot to do other than screening video, screening films and, and, and different projects. Um, there's this world of virtual reality that's happening out there this year. Have you heard about that? I have not. They've, not virtual reality. Randy, at Sundance, have they descended so low? <laughs> it's um, part of their new frontiers. I think it's their 10th anniversary, and um, they're going to have... I think 20 or so different virtual reality projects that people could watch on mobile headsets, and um, they're embracing it as well. Imagine that. So narrative VR, documentary VR, it's it's happening. Well, we had a great interview last week with uh, Srinivas Krishna talking about virtual reality for museum and, and uh, uh, location-based stuff, which is a really cool interview. So I'm sure there's going to be other exciting stuff at Sundance in this regard, too. But what is it that appeals to you about Sundance? Well, personally, I want to. Um, I have people out there that are going to be sending me blogs from different perspectives. You know, you've got the the indie guys, you've got the bigger post houses. I want to see what they are seeing. There's also a, a branding um, session that's going on, so they're bringing in advertising and how a brand isn't just a commercial spot, but it's it's a whole path to a brand. So so that's going to be pretty interesting as well. I want to find out what's new, what the films are that are that are going to be um, sort of the hot topics of of the festival, but but also just something special might happen. You never know. Anything anything could happen at Sundance. So are you going to be covering for Post Perspective? Correct. Yeah, I have a few people out there that are going to be reporting back to me. Oh, well, I want to hear more. And where can people go on the web to keep track of what you are doing and writing? Postperspective.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at Postperspective. And Randy Altman is the editor-in-chief of PostPerspective.com. Randy, as always, thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Larry. To read more from Randy Altman, visit PostPerspective.com.